Seattle at 7 in the morning. Just like we do every other day. Where are we going, Han? You excited? And here we are, just about coming up to school. If you look over there, there's our Vernon Strawbeck and Arts and Sciences. And there's our swamp. <laughs> oh, there it is, sort of. There's a library way back there in the distance. So we can zoom in a bit. Okay, panning around. There's our sign, isn't it nice? And our new bridge from a couple of years ago. There's Manson Center. Oh, and a little car. So we're driving Mark to his class. There's the gym. That's where I spend most of my time. Well, it's hard to focus as you're driving by. Zoom all the way back? No. Huh? You didn't? There's where I used to live. Third floor, the big window. Oh, speed bump. As you can see, Mark slows right down for the speed bumps. I can't even tell if this is in focus. There it is. And Mark used to live over right in about there, I think. That's Douglas. Whoop. And there is RNT building. That's where Mark spends most of his time in classes. And we're going to the commuter parking lot. And it's just 8 o'clock in the morning, so it's, woo, not too busy yet. And I'm going to shut it off now and let Mark continue later. Morning, Bill. How are you there? Good, how are you? That's Kim Taves. Friend, companion. <laughs> Enough of that. Show us your show us your Alcatraz uh, souvenir. Uh, hey. Property of Alcatraz. Does that mean she should be in prison? I think so. <laughs> Hi Kim, how are you? <laughs> it's too late. I mean, to, to you know, sublease and and uh, I have even recently a whole mall. Almost everybody is either wanting to move or it's empty stores. Or nobody goes to a mall like that. There's quite a few around the country these days. The new malls take the business from the old malls. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is the procedure that she had to do to submit the current location? Is this for some ad or? Well, here again, read the, the print in your current lease. Usually this is the way it reads. Subleasing with permission of the, of the landlord. They have some development company there, but not unduly um, denied. Some some phrase like that. In other words, uh, if the subleasee is going to be as responsible as you are and and paying the rent and so forth and taking care of it, and they have to come in under the same terms as you have. Now, if it's a real sublease, now sometimes it's a novation where you where you can switch your name for their name. You would really like that to get out, out from under it. But uh, most of the landlords say no. 100 farmers that have purchased this and 
and they're interested in parts. Other farmers are interested. You know, this is this is how many we've sold in Alberta, uh, and and now we can say we've been in business a while. It's pretty hard cold turkey to go into this farmers co-op and say we're a new manufacturer. You know, this is, you're the first one we're calling on, and. Uh, I mean, you're, you're not going to say those things because it doesn't impress them at all. They're not too interested unless you've established the market or can prove it. This is my first day back. Stephen Blaker. I'm on my way to law class. Law? law. With uh, Kenley Snyder, I would assume. Yes, with Kenley Snyder. Uh-huh. It should be an exciting class. Okay. We'll see you later. See you at coffee. You look quite steady today. Oh, well, thank you very much. Let's see. What haircut you got there? Hey, that's a nice haircut, too. Did you get that done down in Santa Barbara? No, Carmel. Actually. Oh, Carmel, California. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. That's funny. That's where I had mine done. The haircut of the stars or something. That's right. Yeah. See you later. See you coffee. This is geography class. <laughs> Marlene. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. Terms back, <laughs> and we did joyously. Yep. So, reaction? What did you get? What's it out of? That's out of 16. I passed. So did I. <laughs> I passed by five. <laughs> what did you get? 35. 35. He's got three more marks than me at least. I got 32 pink points. I have an income. How'd you do, Mike? It was a very straight Good job. Oh, good. <laughs> I think I think we need to have a little talk oh, with him about straightforward. Ah! Hey, what's going on? Oh great, it's not It was a very straightforward exam, Mark. Oh yes, it was. I agree. Quit videotaping me. No. <laughs> this is the walkway between. There's the man do male dorms. There's R N T, the Robert N Thompson Building. Whoa, I'm gonna die. I've never done that bad the test before. This is the walk to coffee. Hey, where are we going, guys? Hey. Hey, where are we going? We're going to the coffee club. Uh-huh. That's the commuter lounge. There it is. This is my box. Right there. Here we go into the lower cafeteria where we have coffee every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Tuesday and Thursdays. And here it is. Okay, who is this? <laughs> you got a Name working? and rank. This is Sonia. How's California? It was good, this is my friend Sonia. Who do we have here? There's Heidi. Oh, you've met her before. We've met. Sonia? There's Sharon. There's my friend Ewan. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Who am I talking to? Uh, well, actually, anybody. <laughs> Hello, anybody. This is documentary, documentary on a life, a day in the life of Trinity soon. Cheers. And who else do we have? Malin. Hey, Steve. And there's Steven. 
again, Mark. Good morning, yeah. Studley. Good morning. Yeah, hello. Oh my, God, my dad just got oh, one of those. Hi, Dana. Hi, Ann. I'm going to put it. Oh, very nice. Good. Good. Oh, thanks, please. No, I didn't get through. To San Francisco. Oh, I, oh no, and, now it's uh, recording. I had to splice it on another tape, so we lost well, some. Hold on, I can't really see this. Bugger. This is really... But, um, um, Who's it was, this that? It was kind of fuggy. It was the tape. The tape was defective and it, wrecked, it got jammed in the camera. Wow. Is it really yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sucks, cool. man. It's so small. Yeah, it is. Mark, you look marvelous. Oh, it was marvelous. Oh, thank you. I feel, I feel marvelous. <laughs> I feel marvelous. You know what, you guys? Sit down. Is that your jacket, too? I swear. Too? You always swear. I tell you the truth. I do not always swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Heidi, when we got back, I was depressed. To be back? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, I like to say that I was in the same boat. I did not want to be here. I still don't. Karen and I looked at each other right and Right now, I want to go back. Right now, I just don't want to be here. Karen and I looked at each other today, I said, I won't go back to Santa Barbara. She said, Santa me Barbara. too, let's go. No one had, well, Santa 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 <laughs> it's going to be ugly, though. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, my goodness, what's up? Well, the hot chocolate is not working, stuff, so I had to use powder. But it's stuff. just so much. And you got cost there, too? Yeah, I'm going to extra for the chocolate. Yeah, I'm going to get most of the stuff, but I'm just kind of posing myself, you know, and make sure everything works. Put these that. muscles. You, you can't really see board. that well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there, that's better. That clears. You got bad oh, eyesight? <laughs> oh, you didn't pull this up? Oh, this thing you have focus on? <laughs> you got bad eyesight or something? I'm going to choose it with your worst. Oh, okay, because they ask a lot of functions. Like, they'll have a cell, they'll say, what's the function? Oh, there's a beautiful face. Yeah, I mean, she know function in, um... So you got to know what it is and the function of it. In order and file. Not bad, but it sure is a pain to do this one, right? Oh, uh -huh. uh, so fun. Yeah, they're pretty pretty. You want to go back to Santa Barbara? Fair. No. Oh, Santa Barbara. Oh, Santa Barbara. Oh, Santa Barbara. Oh, Santa Oh, come on. Come on, give us a big smooch. I just talked to Killer. We say trophies, we're getting our insurance. Because she uh, came back to the insurance. There's Shauna. No, just saw me right now. Who are you? Say hi. Hi, Secret Hi. Well, anybody. It's just Mark. Hi, Mark. This is coffee. Coffee club. See, look at all the coffee. Look, every stinking day, we we are caffeine free. <laughs> Especially this one right here. This is the caffeine leader. You are. Oh, as if you are. She can drink. Excuse she can me, drink Mr. me. How many triples in one day? How many cappuccinos? Pouring rain, and these, like this, all these That's Japanese the tourists are under a shelter. Well, they're all, all going like, like they're under the shelter. See the little light? The little light's they're not pointing flashing. At us. No, no. Oh, it's like recording. I turned it. No. Uh, no. I don't do that. I'm off to the menu. Oh, that's good. That's good. How was your meeting quick? I'm down from there. All right. You know what we're So we, uh, I didn't get my leadership problem done. Oh, Mark. But he said it's okay. Oh. Hot stud. You heard it. We're in chapel now. We finished coffee. Hey, you guys, let's go. Yeah, I give it to you. Wait. Give it a big smooch. Oh, oh look at that. What a studly group. Yes, this is uh, 11 o'clock every morning we go to chapel. The crowds are just flocking. No, I just the people coming. This is a regular event here at Trinity. Come inside. Okay. Yeah, like just, uh, not that I'm not familiar. Okay, Mark, you can turn it off. What's your explanation? Sorry? Why did you miss coffee? Why did I miss coffee? Well, let me just tell you. Because, because of reading break, I just didn't get enough done. So I had to do the old library thing. So I pretended like I was going to do the library. Read the paper, in other words. Really didn't have anything else to do and he really doesn't like you and that's why he didn't come. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello. Hello. Watch your language, Mr. Skinner. You know what I meant. Huh? <laughs> Get your books out. Come on. Get My books, books are out. out. Where? Right I there. don't see them. Well, put the camera away. Mark, you shouldn't have done this. Where's the off button? Okay, Mark, here's whatever Freedom Hall, just for your benefit. As you can see, they're putting up a new stage. Ooh. Kara. <laughs> Kara. Oh. Kara. Love you. Okay. <laughs> Go away. Here's Sean, ready for another wonderful day of history. Ready to get my midterm back to see how badly I bombed. No, it's wrong, but it's on Friday. Oh, come on now. Really? What? Don't sneeze when you're brushing your teeth. Can you carry this around with me? Okay. the first couple days. And he's swinging his arms so proud. <laughs> one, one, me, me. You. Of course, Ed got what? Uh, I got two. Two. <laughs> Center. And there's Leah, faithfully doing her duty. How are you, Leah? I'm okay. How was your break? It was very good. How was yours? Good. What'd you do? I went home. Oh, did you? Yes. Was it cold? Um, yes. Yeah. It wasn't very warm. I went down to San Francisco and you, Santa Barbara. You did? It was nice. That's good. Did you get that? Hmm? Did you just get that? No. I'm just recording a day in the life of a Trinity student. Oh, you are. Uh -huh. Okay, well, see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. There's the student affairs office. In the cafeteria. Sure. Huh? Hi, Coriette. 
Where are you going? Are you are you going to the library after? Nope. Oh, okay. See you later. Al Wilms. No, wait. Say it again. This is Al Wilms, friend and personal banker to the stars. Who's your friend? Aha. Who's that? Oh, Shauna and Sonia. Go. Turkey's little pole. Right, right now we're in the library here. Right. Richard being me, Jeff Allen. I'm probably gonna get in trouble right now because there's a lady over there that doesn't like me very much. Yes. There's the old chapel. As you can see, we have these big, nice trees all around. This is the computer lab. What you doing, Donna? On a Macintosh. Ooh, look at all the Macintosh. Uh, extraordinary. It gives these very yeah, things. That's the old chapel. They have classes in there, a music program, and and there's classrooms in there. Music class. <laughs> hey, there's me. Out of all these cars, look at the coolest one. Ooh, look! Low and sporty. Such clean lines and simple. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. Boy, if you drove into a forest, that car would blend right in, eh? Right, there's our car. Has that been lowered? Did you have that done? Oh, oh aren't the headlights? I mean, not the headlights, the, the little lights a little bit darker than normal? Pretty snazzy. If you compare this orange and red to these. Obviously customized. Yeah. Gymnasium and sports facilities. This is where I have almost all my classes. Clint. Obviously the uh, facilities for the coaches, their offices <laughs> are a little tight. This is the gymnasium, one half of the gymnasium. They're having a practice in the other half. This also doubles for the chapel, which we saw earlier today. And it's a nice, it's a nice gym. We're having the Provincial PCAA Volleyball Provincials here this year. Working out. Hello. 
we're going to see Bada, our friend Bada, who runs the gym. Did you have a good break? Did you get any days? I've been here. Every day. Every day. Slaving away? Uh oh. I have to put up that uh, divider again. Are you in trouble? <coughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. What are you doing? Later on, later on, later on. How are you, Bada? I said later on. Prison? The prison. The prison? Yeah, Our this prison. is a prison. Let us out. Let us out. Wait, you're no not way. in the prison. It's your office. No. We're on the outside. Oh. No, yeah. that's a prison. <laughs> the real prison. What did you Which do on your break, Bada? On my break, you were here? I go to the poison department. Oh. <laughs> that's Beaver Foods. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Beaver Foods, which is, so you know, the food company that supplies, does the catering. Here. Yeah, we have it's, not we here. Have it's the cafeteria. Yeah. It's the cafeteria. Okay, nice meeting bye you bye. guys. Okay. Which way? To the left. To the left. Whom I had for math and statistics and all the fun things that life. Uh, oh, back three years ago. For in intro, like. Math 101. 101, 102. Yeah. I thought it was long time ago. Yeah, yeah, it was. Probably was, wasn't it? But yeah. Yeah, okay. But that was a good time. You look very nice. Have a good day. Well, See you later. Back, it's me again. Jay, you just don't go it's away again. Yeah. No. How many classes are you in of mine? Just, just two, two, I think. Two. But it seems like <laughs> far yeah. more than that. <laughs> okay, well, just try to behave, all right? Okay. So here we are <laughs> with Mr. <laughs> Mestre. Yeah, this is, that, that's right. This is leadership and productivity, the last class of the day. And here's the, the largest class I'm in. <laughs> yeah, Cheryl, Kevin, Paolo, Jay. <laughs> so one of the things that you tried to do, as we talked about last time, is you tried to pull some of those things. The first two over here, you can see they're intact. But down below, there's one over here, and the two on the sides are missing. And then there's one missing this way, and one missing that way. And the whole idea, or what I'm trying to say, is because you pull some of those blocks out, doesn't mean that the whole thing is going to collapse. And the way I look at leadership, to me, is different people who will look at leadership, some of them will look at it this side and say, this is leadership. Some others will take another side, another view, and say, it's leadership. Um, the point is, is that well, there's only what two dimension, three dimensions, the way we're looking at it in this direction, but we could have something with many facets all the way around, and we could have sticks that are going across in a variety of direction. We could do exactly the same thing in n dimension kind of model. The thing that you got is there are some blocks that you cannot pull out, otherwise what will happen with this group? Right? Oh. It's not going to stand up when it's on two feet. You could have played this, this Christmas and we had situations where we'd have this one in and this one would be gone. And that made it interesting because it would be very wibbly wobbly. It's not so bad at the beginning because the thing is rather low. But as you extend it higher and higher, well guess what happens? The thing sways a little bit more and eventually somebody does something to component that we think comes out. So that's the analogy that I like to, I would like to, to build in terms of leadership is not necessarily that you have to have a perfect organization or a perfect style of management or a perfect way of leading people. And there are times where you may have holes and because you have holes doesn't mean that the organization is going to fall apart. But if you recognize those holes and you fill them in, Obviously, you make the organization a little more sturdy, and as you pull some of those things out, if you're neglecting some of those things, then obviously you can get into a situation where the thing becomes less and less uh, stable. We assume that he's going to be starting work next Monday. Um, how should we help him? How should we prepare? 
calculated for him. His task is... Uh, they get a feeling with the managers. They might be a part of the team right away. The black kid can sign that one. Oh, it does? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then once once he actually gets here, we have to break him in. And uh, freedom sleep to do whatever, and this is how you'll be. Yeah, we want to give him as much room as table. possible, right? Yeah. Because if we restrict him to only, you know, like a union job, he can only, it can't just be stuck to one job description, right? Yeah. If he gets stuck to that, it has to be even more wide ranging, otherwise he's going to feel trapped in his own little give him job. Room. He has to have satisfaction. How do you build satisfaction? You know? Day. Time to go home. That's the RNT building where I just had my last class. Yeah, it's raining again down beautiful Langley. I'm just going to head to the calf, grab a coffee, and then go home. So I hope you enjoyed a day in the life of a Trinity student. And we'll see you again. Bye -bye. Come say hi. hi. Come say hi. hi. Pete. Peter.